Hello, true believers. At last, it's time for another Patreon subscriber exclusive episode. Oh, the marvelous mayhem we have in store for you this year, my dears. However, before we open the lid and extract another slippery morsel of narrative nastiness from our Pandora's jar of troublesome tales, we'd like to say hello to our newest acolyte, Kevin Underhill. Mr. Underhill has actually been a supporter of Nocturnal Transmissions for quite some time now, in his guise as a beloved minion. But he has now elevated himself through the ranks to the exalted position of acolyte. Thank you for your support, dear chap. Don't forget to email us a picture for your membership card. Now to business. We interrupt this episode for a brief announcement. This is a Patreon subscriber exclusive episode. Nevertheless, we will still be sharing this little taster, as it were, with you, our unsubscribed friends of the podcast. If you wish to hear this and our other Patreon-exclusive episodes in their entirety, just visit patreon.com forward slash nocturnal transmissions. All right, on with the show. With five fingers. Well, we quite like this one. Nocturnal Transmissions is proud to present August Heat by W. F. Harvey. Peniston Road, Clapham, August twentieth, nineteen o two. I have had what I believe to be the most remarkable day in my life, and while the events are still fresh in my mind, I wish to put them down on paper as clearly as possible. Let me say from the outset that my name is James Clarence Withencroft. I am forty years old, in perfect health, never having known a day's illness. By profession I am an artist, not a very successful one. But I earn enough money from my black and white work to satisfy my necessary wants. My only near relative, a sister, died five years ago, so that I am independent. I breakfasted this morning at nine, and after glancing through the morning paper, I lighted my pipe and proceeded to let my mind wander, in the hope that I might chance upon some subject for my pencil. The room, though door and windows were open, was oppressively hot, and I had just made up my mind that the coolest and most comfortable place in the neighbourhood would be the deep end of the public swimming bath, when the idea came. I began to draw. So intent was I on my work that I left my lunch untouched, only stopping work when the clock of St. Jude's struck four. The final result for a hurried sketch was, I felt sure, the best thing I had done. It showed a criminal in the dock immediately after the judge had pronounced sentence. The man was fat, enormously fat. The flesh hung in rolls about his chin. It creased his huge, stumpy neck. He was clean-shaven. Perhaps I should say a few days before he must have been clean-shaven. And almost bald. He stood in the dock, his short, clumsy fingers clasping the rail, looking straight in front of him. The feeling that his expression conveyed was not so much one of horror as of utter Absolute collapse. Well, there ends our little teaser, I'm afraid. If you would like to hear the rest of this story and our other Patreon-exclusive episodes, just join up on our Patreon page as a minion, acolyte, or cohort. The choice is yours. Normal services will be resumed in a fortnight's time. We look forward to seeing you then. Gentle.